Good morning, folks. X37B is just days away from coming back down. I want to start with a thanks to everyone who's been sending us info on this. You're very appreciated. Along the same line of thinking, China is sending humans up to the Tiangong Space Station in mid-June. Must be just days away now. We had another one of those global ringers yesterday. That's the large quakes that send seismic waves literally across the planet. This one was around 2100 UTC last night. That correlates with a 6.0 earthquake off the coast of Taiwan. FYI, the detailed tools on RSOE allow you to go in and see things like what volcanoes are nearby or nuclear plants. There's one less than 35 miles from this event, but no serious damage is reported. The Kamchatka Peninsula sees a five-pointer once or twice a month, but this is three in one day. An India landslide from snowfall. The race is on to save about 400 motorists trapped under the ice. This is about the same latitude as the Carolinas. A ship crashed in Alaska yesterday and is leaking fuel. A bit south on the BC coast, red tide has inundated. If you fish or eat shellfish from this area, you should check the safety. South Sandwich Islands are rocking near Antarctica. This is an interesting article here on the electric connections between microbes. And for the second straight day, we have elevated cosmic ray bombardment. That's the bigger blue circles. A bit of expert confusion. Space weather claims that the two M flares yesterday and presumably the one this morning came from 11499 on the northern solar disk turning away on the western limb. The clock is at the bottom. 1132 is the first eruption. It's from up there on the left rather than from way over on the other side of the sun. Watching the second event, it's likely from both active regions. I see activity both up on the right in 11499 and down on the left. And this morning's M flare was likely contained instability down here, no coronal mass ejection. This coronal hole turns center disk, plasma filaments are holding stable around it. While we wait for previous CMEs to hit, NOAA has only the old news 11499 labeled beta gamma, but let's focus on the eastern limb today. Haven't seen anything from this one over the limb, but the complexity is there, and it's easy to see why this sunspot down here, which is new in number only, was able to fire off those flares. I think there's more to come. If you want something beautiful in the sky, watch Jupiter creep up before sunrise. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.